Aldi review part one. Typically, Aldi is more affordable than your other grocery stores. And no, this is not gospel. This is just my personal take on what I would buy and some stuff I would avoid. First off, I would buy any of the produce. What we do is whatever we buy fruit, we bring it home, soak it in some water, baking soda, and some vinegar to get rid of the pesticide. I always recommend sourdough because it's slow fermented, which is good on the gut, and it's also gonna lead to less blood sugar spikes. This does say three made ingredients, which I like from the outside. Now there's no added oils or anything like that. However, whenever you see enriched wheat flour, what that means is most of the nutrients and healthy parts of the flour have all been stripped. Next, we got some beef jerky. Beef jerky is an awesome high protein snack on the go. I gotta be honest, I've never seen hydrolyzed corn protein. No idea what that is. It does have some added sugar in the ingredients as well. But hey, if you're in a pinch, I don't think this is a bad snack. Next, we got some Sims thinly sliced steak. It's got 32 grams of protein, it says. No sugar, no nitrates, no gluten, no preservatives. Looks great from the advertising standpoint. Now these macros and ingredients are exactly what I would prefer when buying something packaged. This is awesome. I always prefer to make my own guac. Avocados are a superfood and it's very tough to find guac without your vegetable oils in them. Here is another great example of what I would look for in the ingredients. All real stuff, awesome. 